So in this video, we are going to learn how to add leads from Facebook lead ads to Motic as contact. Let's say you are running some Facebook lead ads and generating some new leads over there. And you want that whenever a new lead is generated, you want to add that new lead as a contact in Motic. So let me tell you, you can actually automate this process. So in this automation, whenever a new lead will be generated in Facebook lead ads, automatically the same lead with the same details will be added as a contact in our Motic account. So if you want to know how you can set up this automation, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Pabli Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free signup link of Pabli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Facebook lead ads to Motic. And then just click on create. Now you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on. Where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first we have to connect our Facebook lead ads account with Pabli Connect in the trigger window. So that every time a new lead is generated in Facebook lead ads, the details of that new lead should be received inside Pabli Connect and then this automation workflow will trigger. After that, using this Pabli Connect's automation, we are going to send the details of that new lead which they have entered in our lead gen form to Motic and we are going to add that lead as a contact in our Motic account. So let's see how it is done. Starting from our trigger window in Choose app, search for Facebook lead ads. Just select it. After selecting Facebook lead ads in trigger event from the drop down, select the trigger event as new lead instant. After selecting a trigger event, just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Facebook lead ads account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, we just have to click on this connect with Facebook lead ads button. Now because I have already logged into my Facebook account in my browser, Pabli Connect will detect the same account and make the connection over here. And after making the connection, the first thing it asks us is the page. So in this drop down, you can see a list of all the Facebook pages which I have created in my Facebook account. So here guys, in my Facebook account, you will see there's a list of different pages which I have already created over here. So here you can see a list of all of these same pages inside Pabli Connect as well. Now here from this drop down, we have to select a Facebook page on which we are running our lead ads. So in my Facebook account, I have created a page named as Green Pro Landscaping. And on this page, I'm running some Facebook lead ads to generate some new leads. So we have to first select the page on which we are running some ads. So here we are going to select this Facebook page. After selecting the Facebook page, it is asking us for the lead generation form. So here in the drop down, you can see a list of all the lead generation form which we have created for this page. So here guys, we will go to the Facebook lead ad testing tool. This is a testing tool, a lead generation tool, test lead generation tool from Facebook using which you can basically generate some test leads over here. Now here at this testing tool, you can see we have selected the page and here in the drop down, you can see there are two different lead generation form which we have created in this Facebook page. So all the lead gen form which you have created for this Facebook page, you will get a list of all of these lead gen form in the drop down. And here you have to select the form that for which form we want to get new leads. So we have selected the form named as green landscape. We want that whenever a new lead is generated using this form named as green landscape, the details of that lead should be captured inside Pabli Connect. Now here you must be also thinking how I have reached to this lead ad testing tool, how you can access it and how you can use it to generate some test lead. So we have a complete dedicated video on Facebook lead ad testing tool, how you can connect it, how you can reach it and how you can use it to generate some test lead. So we have a dedicated video on the Meta's lead ad testing tool already live on the channel. You can refer to that video and learn how you can use this lead ad testing tool. But right now, here after selecting the page and lead generation form in this trigger step, just click on this save and send test request button. 
Now, when we click on see events and test request, here you will see it has now changed to waiting for webhook response. This means Pavli Connect is waiting to get some response, some details of a new lead from Facebook lead ads. So now what we are going to do, we will be using this lead ad testing tool to generate some new leads. Just click on this preview form button. And then here we are going to enter some details. For example, I'll just enter the first name as the name of the person is demo user. Then this is the email address of this person. And then we are going to enter a dummy mobile number over here. So in this lead generation form, we have basically entered the details of a test user, a dummy user, and then just click on next and click on submit. So as we click on submit with the same details, a new lead is generated in our Facebook lead ads account in this lead generation form. And because we have connected our account with Pavli Connect, we will see in our Pavli Connect workflow in this trigger window, we have received some response. And in this response, you can see the details of the exact same test lead which we have just now generated, the same details which we have entered in the lead gen form. Here you can see the same name, demo user, the same email address, and also the same mobile number. This means guys, the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have successfully connected our Facebook ads account with Pavli Connect and received the details of a new lead in our Pavli Connect workflow in this trigger window. Now after this, let's move to step two. In step two, what we want to do, we want to send these details of a new lead, which we have received from Facebook lead ads to Motic. And we want to add this person as a contact in our Motic account. Now to do this, we will just scroll down, come to this action window and here in choose app, search for Motic. Just select it. After selecting Motic in the drop down here from the action event, we are going to select the action event as create or update contact. After selecting this action event, just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Motic account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the username, password and the base URL of your Motic account. So basically we have to enter the login credentials of our Motic account with the base URL. Now you must be thinking how you can get this base URL. You might be having the username and password of your Motic account, but how you can get this base URL. Now to get this base URL, just go to your Motic account on the right top corner, just click on the settings option and under settings, click on configurations. After reaching to the configuration page from the left sidebar, first go to API settings and you have to enable this API enabled and enable HTTP basic auth as yes. You just have to select yes for both of these options. After selecting it, go to system settings and under system settings, here you can see this site URL. This will be the base URL of your Motic account. Just copy this site URL from here and then paste it over here. After pasting this, you just have to enter the Motic username and password. So after entering the username and password, just click on save. So let me enter the username and password of my Motic account. Okay, so after entering all of these details, just click on save. Now, when we click on save, we will see our Motic account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is last active date. Then it is asking us points, title. So we haven't received all of these details of a new contact which we want to create from Facebook lead ads. So what we can do, all of these fields are not mandatory, are not required. So we can ignore these fields for now. Then it is asking us for the first name and the last name. So we have received the response of name. We have received the first name and the last name of a new lead from Facebook lead ads. So what we can do, we can basically map this response of name, which we have received from Facebook lead ads of a new lead in our trigger window. We can map this response of first name and last name into the respective field in the Motic action. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and here in the drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Motic. And out of all of these responses, select this response of first name and it will be mapped. Then after that, here in last name from the drop down, select the response of last name and it will be mapped here too. After mapping the first name and the last name, the next thing it asks us is primary company position. So we don't have both of these details as well. So we can ignore them. Then we have the email address. So we have received the email address of the lead from Facebook lead ad responses. So we will be using the same process of mapping to map the email address in this field. Just click here 
and from the drop down select and map the response of email and then let's map the mobile number too. In this way, all the details of a new lead which we are receiving from Facebook lead ads, one by one we will be mapping all of those details into the respective fields. And after mapping all of these details, we will just scroll down and we will click on this save and send test request button. Now when we click on save and send test request, here you will see we have received some response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the details which we have mapped over here, basically the details of a new lead which we have received from Facebook lead ads on the lead gen form submission with the same details, this person is now added as a contact in our Mautic account. So let's check it. We will go to our Mautic account. We will go to the contacts page. And yes, here you can see that demo user, the same person, the same lead whose details we have added in our Facebook lead ad testing tool, the lead gen form, the same person is now added as a contact in our Mautic account. Here you can see the same name, the same email address and also the same mobile number. This means the automation workflow which we have created in this video, this automation is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever a new lead will be generated in our Facebook lead gen form, automatically the same lead will be added as a contact in our Mautic account. So guys, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation workflow once. We will go to our lead dead testing tool. Right now, at once, at one time, we can only generate one test lead. So what we are going to do, we will just click on this delete lead button. We will be deleting the existing lead which we have created just now and refresh this page once. After refreshing this page, once again, we will be selecting our Facebook page on which we are running our Facebook ads. So we have selected the page, we will be selecting the lead gen form and click on this preview form button. After this, in this lead gen form, we will be entering the details of a new user. For example, this time the name of the person is test user. So this is the email address and this is another dummy mobile number. So we have entered the details of another dummy lead. Just click on next and click on submit. So just now a new lead is generated in our Facebook lead ad testing tool. After generating this new lead, we will see automatically instantly within few seconds, the same person will be added as a contact in Mautic. So we will go to a Mautic account. One second, we'll go to a contacts page. And yes, instantly within seconds, the same person is added as a contact in Mautic. Here you can see the same name test user, the same email address, and also the same phone number. This means the automation workflow which we have created in this video, this automation is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pabli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this same workflow into your own Pabli Connect account. Also, let me tell you, Pabli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pabli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.